to El Nini on U.S. soil tonight. He's been called a complete psychopath by a top DEA official, and now this top assassin for Mexico Sinaloa drug cartel has been extradited here to the U.S. He will be facing drug, gun, and witness retaliation charges. And according to the Justice Department, full name Nestor Isidro Perez Salas, also known as El Nini, was successfully brought into the U.S. yesterday. Authorities saying he is a top sicario or assassin and the leader of a group that provides Provided security for the sons of El Chapo. Among the gruesome crimes he's accused of, torturing a Mexican federal agent for hours, which included inserting a corkscrew into the man's muscles, ripping it out, and placing hot chilies in the man's wounds. His gang is also alleged to have fed victims, both dead and alive, to tigers. Joining us to talk more about El Nini and the charges that he is facing here in the U.S. is former Acting Secretary of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf. Chad, thank you for joining us on this. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Chad, tell us more about El Nini. Is, is this a big bust, a big success uh, for, for U.S. justice? Well, I believe it is. Look, I, I applaud the law enforcement officers that have been on this case, uh, that have brought this individual to justice back in the United States and, and will face obviously a number of charges and, and be held accountable for his actions. So I think this is a this is a win for the law enforcement community. This is a win for many Americans. But uh, I think it's important to remember anytime we take out a cartel member, there are five or six that pop up uh, in their place. So uh, good win, uh, but uh, there's a lot more that needs to get done along that southern border and to hold these cartel members accountable uh, along with the Mexican government. We need to do more. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. And I, I know, you know, in the past, when we're talking about this, it, it's just like a multi-headed hydra. You cut off yeah. one head and then three more heads sprout up here. Um, tell me more about this man in particular. Uh, El Nini considered one of the most dangerous figures uh, in, in a very dangerous group. Tell me about his alleged crimes, um, kidnapping, torture, and murder. Can you tell us more what he's accused of? Well, sure. Obviously, he's a Sicario, which is an assassin there for the Sinaloa cartel. And, and what that means is exactly what you can imagine, which is he is the enforcer. He is, he does all of the dirty work for uh, those cartel members and those leaders. And so uh, not only just the Sinaloa, but every every other cartel uh, along Mexico, uh, they, they govern with obviously uh, some very uh, very disturbing acts um, and torture and murder and uh, killings and and you can uh, if you can think of it they they do that so this individual is obviously leading the charge for the Sinaloa cartel uh, and the like so his actions uh, probably we just probably know the tip of what he's done uh, he's probably done a lot more that we won't know about um, but nevertheless I think again his capture his extradition to the U S is a win for law enforcement. Uh, but uh, I don't think that your viewers should should say, well, that's enough. Uh, that's enough for what we've done there. There's a lot more that we need to do with these cartels. You know, I do want to get your take on another story we are tracking right now. A former Indiana beauty queen has been indicted on federal charges for her involvement in a Mexican drug cartel. Her name is Glenis Zapata. She was Miss Indiana Latina 2011. She is now accused of transporting cocaine and laundering millions in drug proceeds for a cartel. What are you tracking on this case? Can you provide any insight into how someone like her would get involved with the cartel? Well, I don't know this specific case, but there are there are many instances and examples like this where you have U.S. citizens or others that are living here in the U.S. that do the cartel's bidding. And so I think you had a report earlier that there's cartel activity in all 50 states. And so I think most Americans uh, need to be wide-eyed about the threat that they are facing in their communities from these cartel members. If it's not a national security threat, it's certainly a public safety threat with the fentanyl and the other type of criminal activity that's going on. So uh, as I've said time and time again, I think the cartels should be public enemy number one for the United States government. Uh, the fact that they peddle fentanyl and other criminal acts on U.S. citizens every single day, we shouldn't accept that as as just a given. Instead, we should, we need to take some very forceful action. Holding individuals like this, uh, like the Sicario responsible, I think is a good first step, but it's only that. It's only a first step and we need to do more. A drop in the bucket, I hear you loud and clear. Uh, Chad Wolf, thank you so much for your insight and time tonight. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.